Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April the 28th of 2021. Well, it is titled North Star Polaris and surrounding dust. So what do we see here? Well, the star at the center is the star known as Polaris and a well known star and it happens to be the star that is closest to the North Celestial Pole. Now the North Celestial Pole is the axis on the sky on the sky around which all of the stars appear to move. So you can imagine it as the Earth's North Pole projected out into space. And it happens right now to reach a point near Polaris, not exactly at it. Polaris is not precisely at the North Pole, but it is relatively close and is a way to be able to identify the location of the North Celestial Pole on the sky. Now this is not always the case and in fact if you look towards the south celestial pole there is no bright star near it at present. However due to the precession of the Earth's axis and the way the Earth spins like a top that does change so that thousands of years from now the uh, Earth's axis will no longer point towards Polaris. So what we now see as the pole star will not always be the star near the pole in the northern hemisphere. Other stars will at some points be close to it. And at other times there will be no star close to the North Celestial Pole making it harder than to identify uh, than it is right now. So we don't always see a star near the North Celestial Pole. But for the next couple of hundred years, Polaris will be the closest star as the pole slowly wanders because of the precession, which completes a path in about 26,000 years. So 26,000 years from now, again, Polaris would be the North Star as it would have been 26,000 years ago. But in between other stars can share that distinction. Now Polaris is not the brightest star in the sky. Uh, by far, it's actually about the 50th brightest star in the sky. So it's one of the brighter stars, but not the most bright compared to other stars. But it happens to have that very important uh, distinction of being the star that happens to be located near the pole. Now here we're looking at a deep field image with us other stars have been uh, dimmed artificially to bring out and enhance the dust around it. So we can see the dust scattered there in the area looking towards the North Celestial Pole as well. And that's again some of the details that we see there dust makes up a decent fraction of the material that we see within our galaxy and is the material from which future stars will eventually form. So that was our picture of the day for April the 28th of 2021. It was titled North Star Polaris and surrounding dust. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then. Have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.